What's going on today guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Jay and if you're new to the channel, you found it by mistake you know, blame it on yourself. Today, I thought we'd take a little deviation from the norm. We're gonna talk a little bit about alternate tunings or non-standard tunings. So recently I caught a video by Rabia where he was talking about using some new tunings for, you know, for him. And I thought it'd be interesting to kind of try to do the same. So being that I'm still into the dadgad thing and the drop D, drop C, all that kind of stuff. So I thought it'd be fun to do something different with my seven string guitar, the Ibanez. Let me grab it real quick. Uh, this one here, you know, if you caught my previous video where I was comparing this to the Schecter 7 string, this is 25 and a half inch scale length, which is a little less common for 7 string guitars, especially when you want to do some lower tune stuff because the strings get real flappy and flubby and what have you. That all being said, I still wanted to do something different with this guitar, so I decided to translate it into some kind of a dad gad tuning. So that's what exactly what I did. So uh, the regular six strings, you know, E on down, E to E, I have it set to dad gad. This is your low B. That's typical, right? The only difference is I have the entire thing then set a half step down. So it's dad gad plus a low B, everything's a half step down. So essentially this is a uh, A sharp, this is a C sharp, G sharp, you know, et cetera and so forth. So I'm running on this guitar 10 to 62s and I'm constantly battling my string gauges, trying to figure out what is the optimum or perfect string gauge for me uh, for the different tunings, different scale lengths, et cetera. And I just, you know, just kind of stumbled on this one because I didn't really want to go to 11s or 12s and I didn't really want to have like a 64 or heavier gauge on that low B string because I'm not really going that low of a tuning. I still want it to kind of feel, you know, sort of like a typical scale length where you've got your nines or nine and a halfs on a standard scale length guitar or standard tuning. It's kind of inspired me to try to write some new stuff and it's always fun when you take a tuning and just, you know, blow it down, lower it down a step or put it up a step. I mean, just try something different to kind of break out of your normal, everyday, day-to-day -day routine that you have with your guitar. Uh, I put together a couple sound clips. Let's check them out now. me for a lot of years I just stuck to standard tuning you know I, I grew up on the 80s metal stuff the 90s metal stuff and pretty much everything was standard tuning there was very little uh, extended range stuff seven string stuff out there so you're just listening to standard tuning you know for years and years and I always thought that the half step down thing was just for the vocalist uh, to help him or her reach their range a little bit better you know, Guns N' Roses, for instance. I didn't realize, really, that it alters the timbre of the guitar. You know, it resonates differently when it's got a lower tuning to it, and sometimes that's something you might want to do. So that all being said, I still have five guitars in standard tuning, and quite honestly, I haven't touched any of them in months. <laughs> So there you have it, you know, just a couple examples of some stuff that I'm doing with this kind of new tuning, you know, just it's different for me, I'll say that much. Um, and basically the whole premise of this video is just to kind of come out and say, it's okay to try something new or something that's slightly different from what you normally do all the time because 
if we never push our boundaries, if you never try to push the envelope with your tone, with your playing ability, your skill, your musical knowledge, you're never gonna expand your musical palette overall. You're gonna play the same riffs over and over on the same guitar all the time. And it's really not gonna help you get motivated to kind of get out there and push yourself, push your limits and learn something new or just try something new to see if you might like it. Maybe you end up hating it, who knows, but it's worth a try. And uh, for me, it's, it's fun to kind of do the lower tunings now, the different tunings. Also, I'm going to mention this too. If you're a guitar player who's newer to the whole down tune stuff, drop tunings and stuff like that, and you're using, uh, well, amps or amp sims, either one, it, you do have to kind of um, tweak the tone to suit that lower tuning. You know, you got to take some of the bass out of it and stuff like that because it just, that's where it resonates. But you want to still make sure that the guitar sits in the mix good and still has that kind of a little bit of forward mid range that it needs to kind of you know, push through the mix. Anyways, I've been rambling too much. If you have not already, please hit that subscribe button. Check out the links below. Uh, that's pretty much all I got for you guys today. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll talk to you soon. I'm out of here. See ya.